We all know the iconic scene in Jurassic Park when Rexy is in hot pursuit of the Jeep, but how realistic is it? Could a 10-ton bipedal predator really run at the 32 miles per hour that John Hammond claimed, or was that movie magic? If not, how fast was the king of the theropods in real life? Tyrannosaurus is the most well-studied dinosaur out there, with dozens of specimens in various stages of completeness and over a century of research to its name. Part of its fame is due to its killing adaptations and impressive size, but it's also known from a huge sample size compared to other large theropods and is therefore much more practical to study. Much of the information we'll be discussing is likely applicable to theropods in its overall weight class, like some of the big Carcrodontosaurids, although Tyrannosaurus did have some unique adaptations. Snively et al. 2019 found that Tyrannosaurs were pound for pound twice as agile as Allosauroids, for example, thanks to higher proportional muscle mass. Tyrannosaurs, along with Ornithomimids and some other theropods, also had a special adaptation for running called the Arctometatarsalian condition. This means that their middle metatarsal, essentially the toe bone, is squished between the others. It increases shock absorption when running and indicates a capacity for greater speed over long periods of time. But special feet alone won't propel an animal larger than an African elephant to over 30 miles an hour or 50 kilometers an hour. The stress on the theropod's limb bones would be enormous, and going too quickly would risk fractures. No good when you rely on capturing prey to survive. A T-Rex that can't eat is a dead Rex. So what was the limit its skeleton and muscular system could support without harm? A new paper by Adrian T. Boai and Scott Swan, currently in the preprint stage, summarizes old estimations and holistically combines updated formulas, anatomical data, and biomechanical modeling to generate a new best guess of how fast T-Rex could really run. Keep in mind that we will never know the true speed of these extinct animals, but it looks like this publication may give us the best insight yet. Interestingly, there doesn't seem to be a trend with past studies in terms of increasing or decreasing the tyrant's top speed. A 1995 study found 10 meters per second to be a realistic high end, with 1998 bumping that up to between 14 and 16.5 meters per second, but 2002 dropped it down to between 5 and 11. Three different 2017 studies provided estimates between 5 and 14 meters per second, with some lower and others higher. You can see how wild the disparity is between different estimations, even within the same year. For reference, Usain Bolt, the world's fastest Olympic sprinter, tops out at 12.4 meters per second. The fastest reliably measured elephant, according to a 2015 study, was a 2.8 ton Asian elephant running at about 7 meters per second. Reports of 25 mile an hour speedsters appear to be highly exaggerated. Grizzly bears top out at around 15.6 meters per second, or 35 miles per hour. The new study looked at multiple specimens of Tyrannosaurus rex and used four equations per specimen to get an overall idea of their potential speeds, utilizing stride length, hip height, and proportions of leg and tail muscle mass versus overall muscle mass. Importantly, previous studies had neglected to include the role of the caudofemoralis muscle in the tail, which significantly reduces shock and overall stress during locomotion. This new analysis included its effect. Let's start with Jane. This juvenile Tyrannosaurus, or Nano, or Basal Eutyrannosaur, not going to get into that, could move between 6.3 and 14.5 meters per second as a top speed, and could likely enter a true run, a gait in which both feet were off the ground at the same time. Again, a big disparity in the low and high estimates, so for the purposes of this video, let's take an average of 10.4 meters per second. This suggests that Jane wouldn't be able to match Usain Bolt's top speed, but could keep pace with him comfortably for long distance races. Tyrannosaurus, with their highly efficient respiratory systems and arctometatarsals, were built for endurance running. Next covered is MOR555. Depending on the reconstruction, there's actually a chance that this small adult could enter a true run, with both feet off the ground. If you increase the mass of the caudofemoralis muscle according to Snively tall specifications, then it just might make it, although it's obviously far from concrete. In terms of speed, Wankel's Rex measures between 7.7 .7 and 10.5 meters per second, with an average of 9.1. That's quite a bit faster than the fastest elephant ever recorded. Next up is the People's Champion, XBHI3033, or Stan. Again, capable of a true run with the Snively reconstruction of the Caudofemoralis, Stan's top speed was between 7.8 and 10.7 meters per second, and averaged out at 9.25. Not only is it a beautiful Rex, but it was dang fast. And in the heavyweight slot is Sue, FMNH PR2081. She's so robustly built that a true run was considered highly improbable, even when accounting for a corrected Caudofemoralis muscle, limiting her top speed to between 7.9 and 8.7 meters per second. It makes sense that she would be the slowest on the list, given the significant size difference. 
So while these new estimates are certainly lower than some in the past, they're also quite a bit higher than others. Including crucial muscle anatomy turns out to make a big difference in biomechanical calculations. So while Tyrannosaurus would not be able to catch a jeep even on a good day, the adults were perfectly capable of outrunning the vast majority of human athletes and would easily outpace even the very quickest of elephants. The idea of it being a speed demon does not appear to be accurate, but neither does the obligatory ambush predator model. It's likely that Tyrannosaurus employed a blend of ambush and pursuit predation, shortening the distance between it and its hadrosaur or ceratopsian prey as much as possible to give it an advantage in a burst attack or tiring out its prey over a long distance. At any rate, its linear speed appears to be higher than considered in recent years, although we should note that these estimates may change once the paper has completed the peer review process. There is also a 3D musculoskeletal model with even more detailed speed estimates releasing soon. When that update occurs, I'll be sure to share it right here on Vividen Paleontology Evolved. Thanks for watching! Subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more analyses like it. Join the channel for special perks, including early access to videos at the Megatheropod tier and above. And comment below with your thoughts. How do you think Tyrannosaurus hunted, and what was a realistic top speed in your estimation? I'm the Vividen, and I'll see you next time.